In this video, we're going to discuss Python identifiers. An identifier is the name of a variable or a function. It's just a word that describes something like the word name to represent a person's name or age to represent a person's age. And these identifiers may contain letters, underscores, or digits, but they cannot start with the digits and they should be meaningful. You don't want to have an identifier like ABC, which doesn't really mean anything whereas the word age or name actually means something and the person looking at your program will understand what you're trying to say. Also, variables or identifiers are commonly written as all lowercase with every different word separated by an underscore, such as first underscore name. And also, Python is a case-sensitive programming language, meaning first underscore name in all lowercase letters is a completely different identifier than first with a capital F underscore name. So be careful with that. Also, there's a set of words that are part of the programming language for Python that are called reserved words, and they cannot be used as variables. They all have special meanings inside the Python programming language. And there in the box on the bottom, that is a list of the Python reserved words, sometimes called keywords. And if you're ever not sure of what is a reserved word or not, let me show you a quick trick in Python how to get a list of all the reserved words. So I'm in the PyCharm IDE and you can see a list of all the keywords by simply typing help, parentheses, quotation marks or single quotes, keywords, and then just run the program. And there you go. In the console you get an output list of the Python keywords. And just to show you that they can't be used as identifiers, you can create an identifier like age is 25, but we cannot create an, an identifier that's one of these keywords, such as, let's just pick a random one, break is 25. Notice that it underlines it in red, it gives you an error, and it even makes the word break orange because PyCharm does some syntax highlighting for you and lets you know that this is a keyword. Let's try another keyword. So the very first one on the list is false. That is for Boolean variables, meaning something can be either true or false. Is nice outside. Sounds like a question. Let's set that to false. And that also made it purple. I don't get any errors because I'm using that keyword in the correct way.